The next test we're going to do is bone conduction testing. And this test is much like air conduction, only it uses a bone oscillator placed on the mastoid to send tones directly into the cochlea, bypassing the external auditory canal. For bone conduction testing, you should really be doing um, masked testing, which is where you're going to place a masking sound into the non-test ear while presenting tones to the test ear. This is so you keep the non-test ear or the opposite cochlea busy while you're testing the test ear. Our starting levels are going to be the same as air conduction. We're going to start at 40 decibels. Our masking levels will be um, 10 decibels above the non-test ear's air thresholds. Okay, so we're going to start at 1,000 again, work up to the high frequencies, and then go back down to the low frequencies. Okay, okay can you hear me, Mr. Ruthabuck? Okay, is that coming through your insert or through the oscillator? Okay. Okay, as long as it sounds okay. All right, so the next test we're gonna do is going to be bone conduction testing, and you're gonna be hearing the tones through that oscillator behind your right ear, okay? The tones are gonna get softer and softer until you can't hear them any longer, and what I need for you to do is to push the button every single time you hear a tone, okay? Even if you think you hear it. In your left ear, you're gonna hear some static noise and I'll need for you to ignore that, okay? If at any point you hear the tone in your left ear, let me know, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, we'll get started then. Okay, so we're going to start at 40 decibels in the right ear, and in the non-test ear, we're going to put in 10 decibels of masking noise. So I found that his threshold is zero, and now what I'm going to do is called effective masking. And that means I'm going to increase my masking level a total of 15 decibels in five decibel increments. Okay. Okay, so I've increased my masking, and now the patient is not responding to the tone, so I'm gonna to have to raise my presentation level. So he hears it, so we're gonna increase by five. He responded. Okay, one last time. All right. Now we're going to move on to 2,000. At 2,000, his left air conduction threshold is 5, so we're just going to add 10 and start the masking at 15 decibels. So we found his threshold, and now we're going to plateau our masking. Okay, 
so at 3,000, his left ear threshold is at 10 decibels, so we're just gonna add 10 and start his masking at 20 decibels. So at 4,000, left ear threshold is at five. We're gonna add 10 to that and start our masking at 15 decibels. Threshold is at five. We're gonna increase masking by 15 decibels. Test 500, let's see. His left ear threshold for air conduction is zero, so we're gonna start masking at 10 decibels. This threshold is at 10, so we're going to increase masking again. Okay. All right, so the patient responded there. So now what we would do would be to switch the oscillator and move it to the left cochlea, occlude the right ear, and put masking into the right ear and go ahead and test the left ear. For the purposes of this video, we aren't going to do that. Okay, okay Mr. Ruthabek, we're done with that test. And that concludes bone conduction testing.